So in this problem, we're told two objects attract each other gravitationally with a force of 2.5 times 10 to the minus 10 uh, newtons when they are 0.25 meters apart. Their total mass is 4 kilograms. Find their individual masses. So in order to solve this problem, we're going to say these are our two masses. So we're going to note this one with m1 and this one with m2. And we're told they're a distance of 0.25 meters apart. And the force due to gravity is 2.5 times 10 to the minus 10 newtons. So uh, the first thing you need to know is the formula for uh, the force due to gravity that these two objects are going to experience, or just any two objects for that matter. It's going to be f of g is equal to g, the gravitational constant, m1 times m2 divided by the radius squared. So the force due to gravity, or the gravitational force, is going to be equal to uh, g, the gravitational constant, and then there are two masses uh, by the radius. And so in this problem, the way we're going to do it is we have to get, or if you notice, we have the force due to gravity that they're going to experience, right, which is this. Uh, we know their distance, which is the radius. We know g, but notice we have two masses, and we don't know their values. So the way we do it is by subbing them in. So they tell us that the total mass, which is m1 plus m2, right, their mass is added up, is 4 kg, right, which basically tells us uh, if we want to get it in terms of um, m2, we'll say, m2 is going to be 4 kg, and then we would just minus m1 from both sides, and that basically tells us 4 kg equals, uh, or sorry, m2 is 4 kg minus m1. So to get it by, if we plug that in, we get m1, and then m2 is 4 minus m1, divided by r squared. And so now you can see that we only have the one variable in the equation, and it's really just a matter of plugging things in and solving. So all we got to do is just do that now. So as I said before, f of g is 2.5 times 10 to the minus 10 is equal to g. And so g is the gravitational constant, also uh, which is equal to 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11. Then you're multiplying it by this. Uh, so let me go ahead and do that. So I'm going to move this here, r squared, out front. Uh, and then we have 4 times m1, right? 4m1 uh, minus m1 squared. So all I did was multiply this out. And now what we're going to do is, or let me actually plug in r squared. Sorry, I forgot to do that. So r is uh, the distance between them, right? And they tell us it's going to be equal to... Uh, 0.25 meters. So this is just 0.25 squared. Plugging it in now, so I'm going to simplify it a bit more actually. So 6. Point, or sorry, 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11, dividing that by 0.25 squared, you get 1.06 72 times 10 to the minus 9. Uh, and then you would multiply that by 4m1 minus m1 squared. So uh, just moving it down even more, 2.5 times 10 to the minus 10 equals, so let me multiply this value by 4, you get 4.2688 times 10 to the minus 9 m1. Um, sorry, this is minus 19, my bad. Minus 9. Uh, m1 and then minus 1.0672 times 10 to the minus 9 and so keep in mind these were actually in the same parentheses I messed up here it's like this so you're just multiplying it out right so this value right here was this value and then I'm just multiplying it to each term so 1.0672 times 10 to the minus 9 m1 squared and then to get it into quadratic form which is what we needed in I'm going to move this value to the other side and this one. So 1.0672 times 10 to the minus 19 m1 squared minus 4.2688 times... Uh, sorry, this isn't 19. I don't know why I keep writing 19. It's minus 9. Let me fix all this. Sorry about that. These are minus 9. I don't know why I'm writing that. So 1.0672 times 10 to the minus 9 this is minus 9, and then 4.2688 times 10 to 
times 10 to the minus 9 m1 uh, and then plus 2.5 times 10 to the minus 10. Uh, and there we go. So um, now we just have it like this. Notice it's in quadratic form. So what we want to do is solve for m1. So uh, for m1, uh, right, you're just going to want to solve for it. So I'm going to plug this into my calculator. So we have one point. So I'm just graphing it. So if you graph it, and you can just basically do the same thing as solving quadratics. Uh, you can plug it into the quadratic formula if you'd like. I just think it's a bit more difficult. Um, but yeah, so I'm just plugging it in now. Uh, so we have that. X plus 2.5 times 10 to the minus 10. Uh, and then let me make sure this is right. Uh, just checking it. 1.062, 1.0672. Okay, yeah, so it should be good. Uh, graphing it, we're just going to find where it crosses zero now. Let me zoom in. And so what you're going to find is, when you do this, m1 is going to be equal to 0 0.06. So 0 0.06 kg, that's m1. And then if we want to find m2, it's 4 kg minus 0 0.06, and you get 3.94 kg. So two different values keep in mind these are just made up masses so one's going to have 3.94 one's going to have 0.06 but these are essentially the masses of your two um objects here so 3.94 and 0.06 uh but yeah so these are going to be your answers and hopefully you found this video useful and so i wanted to add on something uh here real quick you'll either get 0 0.06 or 3.94 when you plug this in there's going to be two spots on the graph, and you'll either get either one. So I just chose 0 0.06, but keep in mind, uh, if you get 3.94, it would just mean uh, the other mass is going to be 0 0.06. So that's going to be basically the only thing that changes. And it basically just tells us that either of the masses can be this value, 3.94 or 0 0.06. It actually doesn't matter. And we, we don't know which one's going to be which. So that's why uh, you'll get a quadratic here that gives you uh, both values. I just chose the 0 0.06 and then plugged it in just to say, but just keep in mind that idea, which is you'll get either or value because this is quadratic, basically just meaning either mass could be uh, 3.94 or 0 0.06. We just don't know. And uh, yeah, with that, uh, hopefully you uh, found this useful.